Now, <coughs> now I have my torque as the magnitude of the torque as R F sine theta. Fine. Hmm? Now, if I extend this, if I extend this line of action of force, okay. And I try to see this distance. So, since they are vertically opposite angles, this angle is also theta since this is theta. This is r, so this is r cos theta, while this is r sin theta. So, what happens? The magnitude of the torque, okay? I am talking about the magnitude of the torque that is r f sin theta is it not that is f into r sin theta and what is r sin theta r sin theta is nothing but r perpendicular what do i mean by that so it is f into r perpendicular so what is that what is that what is r perpendicular R perpendicular is the perpendicular distance of the axis from the line of action of force. Do you understand that? Why are we kind of modifying the definition? Because it will help you. Just, just, just here only it will help you. Fine. Otherwise finding that <coughs> theta and, and, and doing things becomes a bit difficult. So, so we should understand and the direction we should, we should fix according to R cross F. Right? Now, with this concept, come here. This is the line of action of force and this is the axis of rotation. So, what is the distance? This length is A. Okay. Let us say we take the angle between this vector and the, and the electric field. Okay, so, so what do I mean? I mean to say that this angle, this angle is theta. This angle is theta. Let me write it there. This angle is theta. Okay. This angle is theta. Now what? If this angle is theta, then this angle is theta. These two are parallel lines, alternate interior angles. This is A. So this is A cos theta. And this is, this is A sin theta. A sin theta. So this is the perpendicular distance of the line of action of force from the axis of rotation, is it not? The thing that we established here. So this is our perpendicular. So, so this torque, so torque due to force on plus Q is so is tau plus Q is equal to is equal to f into r perpendicular which is what is the force q e okay this is the force r perpendicular is a sin theta okay <coughs> this is equal to a q e sin theta we get that? Fine. Now this. Torque due to force on minus Q is tau minus Q is equal to what is the line of action of force? This 
is if this angle is theta then this angle is theta if this is a then this is a cos theta and this length is a sin theta so this is a sin theta which is the perpendicular distance so it is f into r perpendicular that is equal to q e f is q e into r perpendicular is a sin theta that is again equal to a q e sin theta now what let us try to understand the direction of these forces see this force what is r r is is this green line <coughs> Okay, now if I shift this, then R cross F points in the, okay, if I, if I shift that green vector, it comes here, so this is my R cross F, so I take the first vector onto the second vector, clockwise rotation, it will move it into the board, correct, so, so, so this is into the board into the board how about this here the r vector is that because it is from the axis to the point of application of force i shift it so it becomes that r cross f is into the board So these two are vectors which are which are collinear, okay? They are parallel to each other in the same direction, and they are pointing in the same direction and are parallel to each other, right? So 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 what happens to this to the total vector? Okay, so so it is kind of what into the board. <coughs> it, it is like this, and then there is another vector. So there is this vector with tail here and the head here and there is another vector like this if they add their magnitudes will add okay therefore total torque on the system is equal to a q e sin theta plus a q e sin theta which is equal to 2aqe sin theta now if you look at it look at this you'll find it to be a very interesting thing i raise this what is 2aq It is equal to electric dipole moment P, is it not? This is E, this is sin theta. Now P, E are vectors and tau is a vector, this, this, this is your tau. The total torque, torque is denoted by the Greek symbol tau. So tau as a vector if P is a vector, E is a vector, okay, <laughs> then what product of two vectors will give you a vector? Cross, cross product. And in cross product, we also have the, the sine theta term, right? We have the sine theta term and what is that sine theta term? What is that sine theta term? That is the angle between, between P and E. You now understand why we took this as theta? Because it, this is the direction of P. This is the direction of P. This is the direction of P. And this is the direction of E. We took the center of the dipole to be the point of that is the axis about which it rotates, about which it rotates, 
P vector is not fixed, its tail is not fixed, it can keep on sliding. But we know that even the sliding vectors, they are the same, right? If they, if they slide parallel to themselves and have the same magnitude, then we are dealing with actually free vectors, right? So, so P and E, the angle between P and E is theta. So, should it be P cross E or E cross P? This is into the board. So you should check. You should check. Whether P cross E is into the board or E cross P is into the board. Try to think. P is like that. I, I, I shift it. Or, or maybe E is something like this. Is it not? If P comes on E, this is also theta. Maybe I raise this. Theta. So P cross E becomes what? Into the board. E P. It, it remains hinged. The first vector goes on to the second vector. So it is clockwise rotation. Clockwise rotation for a right handed screw is into the board. So E cross P would have been out of the board. So, so it will be P cross E. Okay. So torque on the dipole with dipole moment P in a uniform electric field is <coughs> given by by torque tau is equal to p cross e <coughs> it is p cross e Correct. Fine. 